In a fiery and contentious speech delivered in Howell, Michigan, Donald Trump took aim at Vice President Kamala Harris and what he described as the Marxist left, while making a series of unsubstantiated claims about rising crime rates and legal troubles facing police officers. This speech, given to a gathering of police officers, reflects Trump's ongoing strategy of rallying his base by painting a dire picture of America's safety and justice landscape. Trump's address revolved around his assertion that the U.S. is gripped by an unprecedented crime wave, which he attributes to the Black Lives Matter movement and illegal immigration. According to Trump, this supposed surge in violence began when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris took office. He specifically criticized Harris, labeling her as a pro-crime, anti-police figure, and blaming her for policies that, in his view, have worsened the crime situation. Trump's rhetoric painted Harris as part of a broader Marxist agenda that he claims is undermining law enforcement across the country. During his speech, Trump denounced Harris's past as a district attorney in San Francisco, accusing her of being lenient on crime and of supporting policies that he argues have emboldened criminals. He referenced a widely debunked claim that as California's attorney general, Harris implemented a policy allowing shoplifters to steal up to $950 worth of goods without facing prosecution. This, Trump said, led to rampant theft and a breakdown in law and order, despite official statistics showing that violent crime in the U.S. is at a near 50-year low. Trump also made sweeping promises to protect police officers from legal repercussions if he were to be re-elected, vowing to eliminate what he calls the difficulties facing law enforcement. He criticized the so-called Marxist DAs, who, according to him, have waged a vicious war against the police. His speech included a troubling description of American cities as unsafe and overrun with crime, suggesting that citizens face grave dangers even in their daily routines. In addition to his attacks on Harris and the left, Trump used the occasion to voice his grievances about his own legal issues. He expressed frustration with what he sees as politically motivated prosecutions, highlighting his criminal convictions for fraud in New York and ongoing legal battles related to his attempts to overturn the 2020 election results. Trump lamented that he faces more scrutiny than the criminals he claims are terrorizing American cities. The former president's speech took place in Howell, a city recently associated with white supremacist activity, further fueling the divisive and inflammatory nature of his comments. Trump's rhetoric, filled with fear-mongering and sweeping generalizations, aims to galvanize his supporters by portraying the current administration and its allies as a threat to safety and law enforcement. This approach, while resonating with some, continues to be heavily criticized for its distortion of facts and its focus on polarizing issues. Stay subscribed for more videos.